good morning and sliding into afternoon. Nana here, also known as Judy Allen. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're using Paper Pumpkin. We're making an alternative. We've already made one when we're live on Sunday. But today we're going to make a Christmas, our Cardinal Christmas crate. Alright, so this will be similar to what I did on Wednesday on Adventurous Stamping. But we're going to be using the Paper Pumpkin Kit. All right, so let's go down the hands and let's do this, right? Because I've got Coker Fest tomorrow, which is an arts and crafts festival. And this will be one of the things I'll bring with it as well, too. Just to show you, you know, you say, what do you do with crates? Well, I'll show you what I do with my crate. Here's a crate I have not decorated, but I've had for some time. I just put all my handy adhesive stuff in is what I do. But you can do whatever you want to do. But here are the cards that we've already made from Sunday, and here is the alternative that we made from the envelope. All right? So, I'm just going to show you those. And then, in addition to that, I brought these that we did at the retreat last Saturday. I brought these because I was using these to also inspire me of what did I want to do. So, so the, the thing is, is that you can do all sorts of things, right? What I've done, I was going to get some ribbon. I don't see that I brought any ribbon, but that's okay. I still brought my other stuff. Let me get all the stuff of the crate there. Okay, here is the measurements that we're going to work with. The side of the crate, which is this right here, is 2 and 3 eighths in height, 3 and 3 sixteenths in width. So it's only important if you're using directional paper, right? And then the strips that I'll be using is 3 fourths of an inch here by 5 and an eighth. And we'll, we'll need to trim it just a smidgen. I already know that, but that'll be okay. All right, so what I've done, if you look here at the back of this card, right? I've actually taken the back of the card here and I've cut it down to the two and three eighths by three sixteenths that we're going to use. Okay. These strips here I got from the back of this card base. All right. So we're using items straight from the kit. All right. We're going to maybe add some extra things, but this is what we're going to use on the back side again. These are three fourths by five and eighth, and you need three because there's three dividers, right? So we're gonna first gonna start, uh, well, let me show you. And then also this is from the envelope, all right? So again, that is three quarters by five and an eighth. Now, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I, I couldn't find this piece. I already cut one envelope, and I couldn't find this piece. It was because it was under my Winnie the Pooh and my Mickey Mouse clock there to keep, let it glue down. So anyway, I had to do it again. So this is the envelope, and this is what I did is I just, Cut from the bottom, start straight from the bottom to cut my three four inch strips, and I cut it down to five and an eighth. All right, just so you know where it came from and where we're going. I have gone ahead and stamped a tag with a ribbon to go with it. I'm going to put this aside because I'm not sure if I'm going to actually put that on or not. I might put it. I'm going to give it at the Coker Fest. I want to maybe just save it for the people to put on themselves if they want to. All right, I went ahead and brought out. So the, the kit comes with the different birds, right? So we have the cardinal, and then we have these two smaller birds. So I brought them just in case I changed my mind, and then I have this also. So this is just all stuff that I have left over from the kit that we're going to be making this with. All right? And the fun thing is I'm just showing you how that you can sit up there and make crates from different things, decorate them, right, and give them as a gift. Now... For example, I'm trying to think what I can do. So I will most probably make a coordinating post-it note holder at our retreat. I gave them as gifts. And I just made nice little gifts, right? And then I might have a matching coordinating ink pen. I do not know. I'll have to look and see what I have. Or I might build my own, right? So there's always choices and options. So I'm just going to put the bottom one on first. And we're going to work our way up to make sure I stay within the layers, right? Okay, so this one definitely was the first one that I've done. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I actually have materials already prepped to do two of these now since I found my missing piece that I couldn't find earlier. But it was lost and found, right? Lost and found. Let's see if I can get this one open. Let's see, there we go. As you can see, see how it's the envelope? So we just, all we're doing is I'm just coming, cutting on the line that's already there. When the envelope was creased and made, that's all I'm doing. And the key thing is, right, we want to make sure we keep these in order. So it's just going just like this here. 
all right? And just with a little bit in between. And if you don't want to do the paper, you know what? We can easily just put the glue here instead, which might be easier. So I just want to make sure I get all my edges, right? You want to make sure you get all your edges. So today, it's hard to believe we're already in November. Already in November. Today's the day, November 1st. So we actually have a new host code. And so we'll actually, actually have a couple of extra of these kits to sell at Coker Fest. So if you're interested, let me know. Or they're sold out there. Because you can't get them. They're already sold out. Stampin' Up's already sold out of all refills on this kit. And if you think this is cute, the next one coming out is going to be Christmas stockings. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you don't get our newsletter, get our newsletter. Because we'll post it out there as well, too. And we'll post information as well. Alright, so we've got this part here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the back part while I'm at it. Just seems like I make my slits just a little. It's hard, right, because of the lighting. I'm trying to see, and you got shadow back there, but it's it's on the slat it's supposed to be. So we're going to trim it in just a minute. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I'm just going to go ahead and get this back here on. So these don't matter because they're not directional or anything continuity, right? So I'm doing the continuity of the leaves up there. So I always say just just watch which pay which way the paper is going and everything all right so if you've got an object in this particular case we had the leaves on the envelope so I want to make sure right that if I'm cutting in I want to have a continuity look then I just gotta make sure it lines up and looks that way first before I glue it all down so just watch it I accidentally glued something upside down the other day and it was my opportunity for creativity because it was already nice and glued. To do that, I was going to have to cover it. And I really didn't want to have to go and cover it. So it would provide an opportunity for creativity. Don't ever worry about that because you have opportunities for creativity, right? No matter what the project is, you'd be amazed that lots of times it comes out better than you ever were even going to create to begin with. So don't fret over it. Just see what you can do creative with it. You'll be amazed. All right. So this is the last slot that I have here. And then I'm going to go back to the front there. And I'm just going to trim off the edges because it should be dry now. So it's not very much off. See how we've got it right here? So I'm just going to take my scissors. My paper snips here. And it's got a very sharp end. So be mindful of that. Definitely have all my fingers out of the way. Okay, so see how it looks? We just snip that off, and that's what it's going to look like. Get this here off. And then we'll trim the back side because it should be dry now. We'll do the same thing. So see how that's already looking? And I kept the gold, this uh, green foil. I'll see if you can see the green foil, see how shiny it is. I made sure to keep that and keep it right there. And that's not something I can duplicate. I can definitely stamp something and heat emboss it, but they definitely don't have the green, right? I've got metallic colors, but they don't have, like, this green here. So I wanted to be sure to capture that. It's just a real pretty color. All right, so here we go. Here's how we're shaping up. Here's the front. We did the slides there, and here's the back. All right, now we're just going to do the sides. So the sides are just going to fit right over here, and again, I use the envelope. I am going to see which way I want to go. So this one looks like I might have to trim it just a little. I'd rather trim from the bottom because if I accidentally make any kind of mistake, right, it, it won't be as noticeable at the bottom as versus have it right here at the top and somebody, right in front of somebody's face, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to go line it up down here at the top. We can glue this down. Like I said, it may be easier just to do this here on the wood, right, than the paper. And that way I've got more accuracy, too. Because if I've done it on the paper, then we know the paper's already going to extend just a smidgen, right? Just a smidgen. All right. And we're just going to put this here. Now, I do have some cherry cobbler ribbon that would go real good with this. And I do have... It's got, it's used on this card here. See here? 
That would go really nice. And there's a real beautiful shaded spruce ribbon that would go real good too. It's sort of sheer in the middle with the green edge on the outside. But I don't know, I didn't bring either ribbon, so I still have to think about that. We'll first get everything we got together, and you know what, if I decide to go with the ribbon, I'll put ribbon on it, and I'll post a picture for you. And you can add ribbon if you want. Now you can pop some bling, too. I don't know if it's going to need bling. I just bought it because I can, right? So many times I do things because I can. Whether I use it or not, may or may not. But I bring it along just in case because I can. I have it, and if I choose to use it. So the main thing is, I just want to make sure my edges are lined up, right? Because once this glues down, it's, it's down, right? Right now I can move it just a little bit, but here in a minute I'm not going to be able to move it. So make sure this edge right here is done. So you can see how this one right here is just, just a smidgen, right? It's not hardly anything. But I'm going to still trim it make it look really nice to the edge of the box. So I'm just going to take my scissors right here and we're going to trim it off. See, just a sliver. Not much at all. Just a tiny little sliver. It's going to make a little bit of difference. I'm just going to run my fingers right down there. And then we can come over here to this side too. So you see, it just not a whole lot. Again, just a smidgen. I have to look up what the definition of a smidgen is. All right. So there we go. So we've got it like this right here now. See how it just even by itself, without even adding anything else, it's just very pretty, right? It's just very pretty. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. So I did. I brought, just in case, I changed my mind about the cardinal. This is what I visually, uh, originally envisioned. Now keep in mind, right, the bottom of the crate is going to stand up. So you're, you're going to need it sort of like this. And this is what I originally envisioned, that I would just put this up here like here, and I could put some ribbon here. Now, the choices are, do we want to use dimensionals, right? Do we want to use dimensionals? Well, if you're not sure, add it and see what you think. And then, of course, this would be put up on dimensionals as well, too. So, it doesn't give you the exact visual, but it gives you an idea of how you're going to have height-wise and how things are going to look. So, I do like the dimensionals because this is going to be flat. We had the flowers there already. And you can see on this card, we sat there and added dimensionals. So, I'm going to do the same thing. And that one, I actually put the bird in the center the cardinal in the center so and it's okay if it, it's okay if it comes off the side over here I'm just don't want the bottom right if you're gonna do the bottom and you can do anything you're gonna trim off because you want it to be able to stand on a counter or anything else that you want it on so if we go ahead and put the bird in the center like we did for the card I put the card right here so you see sort of what my guideline is right because I always leave myself options to change my mind and then we're just gonna set the cardinal like right here and I'm okay with that. I was trying to think if I had a problem with that. I really don't because it still leaves me the option to put Merry Christmas if I want to. This will be up. So if somebody wants to put Merry Christmas on here, they can. And I've got the red to go behind it. For the moment, though, I'm just going to get this on here. And we're going to bling it up just a little bit, maybe with some like Stella. And I'm just going to do it like this right here. I was debating, right? So if you were live, you could tell me whether you liked it just down, just a little bit like that, and that would trim that off, or just go ahead and do it right like that, which we did on the card. Again, we're going to put the cardinal right here, and sometimes we think it's got to go directly in the center. Well, I'm not putting it directly in the center because I'm leaving room for my Merry Christmas, but what we do need to keep in mind, right, as I go and put this on here, is our dimensionals only need to be below. So if we want to, we can put it right here. And if you're looking at where it's going to lay, then we know we can put one right here, right? We just don't want it to show. And then we'll put another one right in that leaf there. Okay, and I think that'll cover just about everything. So we could still put one over here if we wanted to, and we could put one right there if we wanted to. Let's just stick with this at the moment. Let's just add this one down at the bottom. So if you're never sure, right, just sort of lay it out how you want it. And that one's going to be like right about there. So the nice thing about dimensionals is, is they're forgiving, right? So if I 
accidentally mess that up. It would it wouldn't be terribly difficult for me if I just gently tug on it to pull it off. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get these off. So yes, if you're out there, be sure to say hello and all because this is how we sit there and put you in the drawing for the door prizes we do on the last Sunday of the month when we get ready to do the new kits. All right. And now I'm going to just put some dimensionals on the bird itself. And our bird's going to be going right on top of here so we can actually just have our dimensionals going all the way down our bird. So yes, we had, oh my gosh, 148 trick-or-treaters last night. See, one thing you don't know is in our neighborhood, or our street, on our street particularly, is we actually have some folks, we live on a cul-de-sac, and the cul-de-sac for Halloween, they literally set up a haunted house, and they change it every single year. They build it that day and everything and all, so we get a lot of people that come by and come in. So, yes, it was, it was interesting to see so many older kids last night. It was very nice. All right, so see, this is how the box is shaping up right now. And you can see that we can easily put our Merry Christmas here, right? If we didn't want to take away from the bird, we could put the Merry Christmas here. Definitely, I think we need red behind it to just help it pop a little bit more. So, if I was going to do it, I would be sure to get it up a little bit more. For the moment, though, I'm not going to put Merry Christmas on here. I'm going to design this, and so whoever decides to get this, they're going to get to make that decision. Now, the one thing I did bring, and I don't think these are really going to help a whole lot. I just thought I'd look and see. Uh, these were actual adhesive, right, embellishments. Half of these came, These this half was the natural color that it came in. These were white or clear. And I actually colored these with a cherry cobbler Stampin' Blend pen. I just colored them twice. And you can see I got the color just the same. So I thought it might be nice to add some of these in here, especially on top of the berries, maybe the individual ones. I can do Wink Stella. Let's see how we can look, see how we think we're going to look like this. So what I would usually do, just like to do anything else, right? I'm going to sit up here and I'm just going to take a couple off. Actually, I'm going to take three off. And we're going to see how we like it, right? Because sometimes I think I want I like something and I'm going to like it. And, other, and then when I go to do it, I'm going like, oh, I don't think you really want to do that. So the easiest way to do this is, is just put some out here, right? So I have enough of these that I could easily go and put one of these little berries, like on each one. So what do you think? And then I also have the berries that I can come over here and do the same thing. Now, I wouldn't be able to put one on every little berry because the size of the berry is going to be so big for those little bitty ones. And trying to crowd them all together might be an issue. But just see how it looks just to come and add just a little different dimension. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it. All right. So this is, so I'm going to use this tool here because I'm going to gonna make it easier for me. This has just got some putty to it, and let's see if I can get this one. I might have to get the other one. I might be out of putty on this one. I think I am on this one. Let me get the, either that or I didn't get, oh, there we go. I was going to say either that or I didn't get my Wheaties today. I don't eat Wheaties anyway. So, I'm just going to get this, grab this off the plastic there, and we're just going to stick it on here, okay? Just helps you grab something tiny like that, and we'll get it off there, I think. I'm thinking. Okay, so there it is there. Ah, touch me. Okay, so that's what it would look like, okay? Uh, that one, okay. It's hard to see because of <clears throat> the other stuff there. All right, so did I get that? I did. Ah, all right, so normally I get it off real easy. And, oh, I see that one. I did not really get off the, um, all right. Technically challenged at the moment. That's okay, though. Let me just use my fingernails. I see I, it has a plastic strip. I didn't realize the plastic strip was still there. All right, so I'm just going to add some bling here. This one was not. It was just... Okay, so I can easily add. You can see that I can easily add three without any interruption there. And I'm 
just going to get it in position, right? So you see how that's going to really get closer and closer. We can try adding... I can use this pick and that'd be better for me, easier. So you're going to see how it just... It, this one will work because it's not too terribly crowded together. But in a minute you're going to see where that's going to be a little... might be a little bit of a challenge, right? It's like I got my fingernails trimmed. Because I broke some off, right? We always do that. So see how it just gives it just a little extra. And so we're just going to keep on. Ask me if I accidentally said things. I cut myself the other day with my tip of that. And you can, right? So just be careful because it is a sharp point. And let's see if I can get that. So come here. So yeah. So the main thing is, right, is when we're take, doing a craft or we're creating something like this, especially when I know that I'm going to do it at a craft show, or if I'm going to give it as a gift, right, we just want it to be really nice. So I'm just going to make sure it's really nice. I'm going to sit there and add in just a moment. Now this isn't in the kit, right, this is just some stuff I had left over from my other projects that I'm still using. I'll still use this all the way up to Christmas and beyond because this even be nice individual ones for Valentine's, right? So you're not limited as... Now we'll try to add this and let's see how that's going to look. This is because it's not really a full one. See how crowded that gets? So you'll have to tell me if you like that or not. Because that's just a lot of them there. So there's what, five there together? Ah, it came out. It looks better than I thought it was going to look with them all crowded there together. And we'll go ahead and put... Let's see how it looks if we go right here. So this is like really crowded here. So let's see how it's going to look. See if we can make it look nice. Okay, I think it's okay, right? But you can see, right? So it's like when you start putting them all together, it's quite a bit together. Now that I did that, let's add a little weak Stella. So this is not in a kit, but this is something very nice to have, right? Because it makes all, everything have a little bit of a sparkle sheen. I don't know about you, but we had trick-or-treaters last night. What a variety. We had a lot of ninjas. We had airplane pilots. I had some teenagers that came through. And all the girls were just like airplane pilots. They said, do you know what we are? I said, yes, I do. Then we had some that were just little kids that were most probably a year old, if even that. That was cute. I had one that um, came to the door and he didn't have anything in his little bucket. So I gave him two bags of candy, which he smiled and went on his way. <laughs> They're so funny. Kids are so cute and funny. But everybody said thank you, right? We have to be, be sure to say you're welcome. So I told my husband, you're supposed to say you're welcome when people say thank you. All right, I just added it twice just to make sure I get enough of it. Now, if you want to put some on the bird, you can. If I did, I would most probably just outline a little bit of these little areas here. So I guess I'm an extension of those. I might just put it right here, too. Because I can, right? I do it because I can. So anyway, it was cute. My husband hasn't been home in years for Halloween. But he's just, I've been so busy. He sat there and stuffed all the bags for me. So I had the bags ready for the kids. And that's just my way to be able to keep count about how many kids we have. So I know next year what I need to do. So here's what it looks like. And here's the side. And I'm not going to add anything to the side of the back. The only thing I may add to the front here, like I said, is I might add a bow. Because I think a bow would be pretty. Um, this is sort of like one that I did on another card. I just added some a bow, a simple bow. So I'm more than likely add a simple bow here. So I do have the Christmas, Merry Christmas, ready to be put on for whoever wants this. And they can add their Merry Christmas or not. I'll just put it right in here for them so they can make that decision. And there we go. We just have a nice little gift box that will add some bow. 
and it's ready to go and give. So I hope you enjoyed that, right? Because the other two things that we've done, we could have done the birds. The birds would be just as easy. So I have some leftovers that I actually couldn't find my one piece. I will most likely go make another one and use these birds instead. So they have two, but they'll look similar but different, right? So leave my Merry Christmas in there. So today we've made our Christmas cardinal box here, or our cardinal Christmas box. These are the cards we've already made from the kit that we follow the directions of the kit. And then here is the alternative card which you used as a guide for us today. So I hope you enjoyed that, right? It's all about creating, sharing, and giving, and making a difference in someone else's life. And then in this particular case, we're going to find out what goodies that we can put in the side here that just makes it one complete gift. So go out there, right? It's all about creating, sharing, and giving. So go out there and create, share, and give. And if you're here in San Antonio or in the area tomorrow, Come check us out and come say hello to us at Coker Fest. It's the Coker Methodist Church right off of Wurzbach Park. Right? We'll be by the sanctuary. My daughter and I will be over there. You can say hi to her as well, too. And you know what? You can sign up for door prizes as well because we always give, I think it's like we started like 11 or 12, and then we give away a door prize every hour. All right? So thank you for supporting us not only here on Facebook, but also for supporting us on YouTube and Instagram. Be blessed. Have an amazing weekend, an amazing week, and see you next week. Bye.